What's up YouTube? It's your boy, Angry Jack LaFabrix. So, last year, I made a bunch of little journals uh, for myself. And this is the first of a series of videos that will talk about each one in better detail so you can understand. So the very first one I'm going to talk about is Time Master which was a daily planner that I created for myself uh, to get around and work the way that I do. So I'll start off by saying this planner might not be effective for everybody but if you have a very similar mindset to mine and you want to track certain things uh, this thing is really really useful and it is available online there's the information about it hey hello kitty cat so what I'll do is you'll see high res photos but then you also will see this view here so that I can better explain different pieces so, when you first open it up, there's kind of an overview where you can put your name, email, phone number in case you lose it and you want somebody to get in touch with you. Then, for me, at any given time, I try to have about seven projects that I'm working on. And these are what I call goals, seven goals. Now what this does is give you your, your month, your 30,000 foot overview of your goals and the purposes. And this is where you put your goal and then under here is your related sub goals. So for example, goal 01 might be um, a book I'm working on. So in addition to that, I know to launch the book I need to write the book, edit the book, cover made, submit to Lulu as an example, push out for distribution, and then make some kind of marketing for it or something else. So those sub goals might have to be achieved before G01 is, is done, okay? Goal one, goal two, goal three, goal four, five, six, seven. Daily planner basically there is a whole month or could be multiple months it's really up to you, how you however you want to do it but for me I do a month and I put all the stuff here and then we get daily planner part so this is the month the week covered and then again we're reinforcing tasks and there's six here but you could have seven but for this for a given week you know that that might be what it is now I have um, I have a watch that tracks my sleeping I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not right there and some of the information that it has is my awake awake rim light etc and so you'll see that those coincide here now a lot of the uh, smart watches Fitbit etc will track that information. This is an area where you can keep track of that. So if you're like going back going, man, that week I was really dragging ass. When you go back and you look, you see how much sleep you're getting, you know, all this other stuff. So yeah, I track at that granular level, but that's just me. So there are, for the daily planner part where you're tracking on a weekly basis, there's one page, two page, three page, 
one, two, three, four, five, five. So it gives you five weeks, roughly. And then we get into the actual daily planning part. Do you have your date? Did you have good sleep? Yes or no? How long did you sleep? Did you have any dreams? You can give the day a title at the end of the day when you're kind of debriefing your day. Also, what was the event of the day? What are you grateful for? Your energy level at the start of the day, energy level at the end of the day, your moods, how did you feel at the beginning of the day and how did you feel at the end of the day? And what was your primary goal for the day? Did you succeed at it? If not, what happened? Why? And then important notes, notes during the day, like what was important about the day? And here we got tasks, okay? Your top tasks, personal tasks, target goal tasks. Now these target goals correspond to what you set up in the very beginning here, your goal trackers, right? So these are where you're putting those subcategories, the subtasks here. Mantra, this is something you should do, well I do, every day. I write something in here and then I vocalize it out loud. And every time I vocalize it, I put check marks. And then I cross the check marks again. So this gives you seven. I will vocalize 14 times. And then you ask yourself, why are you doing all of this tracking? And then what is your personal dream? Progress to the monthly goal. This is where every day you will update your progress from zero to 100%. And also, very important, don't quit. Now, I have medication I need to track, so I track it here. And then on the other, I track my soda and coffee intake, because I drink a lot of soda, I drink a lot of coffee, and I kind of want to keep track of that because if you're just drinking or doing whatever, you're not really thinking about it. So this is useful for anything else you want to put. Now, this is an ambiguous section here, but it's also meant to help you remind yourself what you're grateful for and also other important notes. So for example, these are typical stressors that everybody has. Money, bills, school, job, health, love, mood, weather, and tragedy. Okay? And these are things that people usually overlook. Mobility, are you able to walk or run? Food, do you have food to eat? Home, do you have a safe place to sleep? Entertainment, water, think about it. Do you have water to drink? There's a lot of places in the world where water is a very precious item. It's not a commodity the way that we treat it, right? Uh, safety, somebody after you. Purpose, that's something you always should be focused on. What's my purpose? What am I doing, right? Uh, plumbing, you got a toilet that works? <laughs> and clothing, what do you wear, right? So you've got one, I think I got it in the front here, it tells me how many there are. Uh, let's see, 30 daily pages. So you basically have 30 of those sheets. And then you go through them. And that's it. So it ends on the very last one. Very lightweight, very thin. Uh, easily transportable, easy for you to take it. You know, what I typically do is I'll work through the day at the at nighttime when I'm getting ready to go to bed, I'll mark off the energy level at the end of the day, the mood at the end of the day, and then was I successful in what I tried to do that day? Yes or no? Why, what was the barriers? What was the problem? And that's useful because a lot of times you'll have kind of a pattern of failure and you're not quite sure why. As you're using this, you start to reveal, shit, the reason I didn't get this done is I ran out of time. Well, then it becomes time management, which is why time master is super important. 
So that's the genesis of why I created. This is actually a version three. I had two other versions I did and the very first ones were like super thick. They were like really big. But then I started to break them down into monthly edition because is my belief anyway. Once you work through whatever the obstacles are and you start to train yourself on keeping notes and everything else, then this becomes a lot less necessary. If you're not organized and you suddenly are jumping into organization, this helps you. Then you can continue to get them and keep using them or you might just get one and instead of it being a monthly thing, it might be just task oriented where you're just updating certain days that you're working on. Let's say for example, the weekends are the only time that you're able to work on your pet projects, your side projects. So you get a time master and instead of tracking Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, you're only tracking your Saturdays and Sundays. This thing is flexible enough that you could do that if you wanted to. And with 30 planning days, uh, you know, that would give you what, 15, 15 weeks. So you could stretch it to fit whatever your objectives are. So anyway, I just wanted to do the daily planner, single month edition, show you guys what it is, how it works, why I use it. And um, I really hope that it helps anybody who uses it with what they're working on. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. If you like it, like it, please subscribe. Tell your friends far and wide. Until next time, motherfuckers, please be good to yourself, good to each other. Go out, live life to the fullest, ride the bus to the wheels, fall off, find some love, get some scars, get some adventure, and all that jazz, and I'll see you motherfuckers next time.